Hey, and welcome back to another exciting, fun-filled episode of Ask Electrician's Library. Hashtag Ask Electrician's Library. Use that on Twitter, ask questions, we'll, uh, we'll get you the answers. So, today the, uh, the question is, should I exercise a main breaker? A load center, panel board, whatever kind of distribution you've got, should I exercise the main breaker? The reason this question comes up, I overheard a conversation between a couple of guys and one guy had just bought a new piece of property and he was doing some upgrades. Now when he got to do the electrical upgrades, he uh, shut the main breaker off, killed all the power, did what he needed to do, went to turn it back on. Six o'clock at night, no power. Main breaker would not reset and uh, he was out of power for 24 hours till they could figure out uh, what to do. Power company helped him out a little bit but they tried to figure out what to do to get power back. So. This raised the question, should you exercise a main breaker at least once a year to make sure it is, is uh, functioning property, properly? So I uh, scoured the web, I wrote a quick little blog post about this, and so you can get these few tips on the blog post at electricianslibrary.com. It's entitled Work It, Work It, and uh, this is what I've come up with, kind of three main reasons why uh, you may want to consider uh, exercise main breaker at least once a year. So number one, uh, it, doing this will help uh, the distribution of the and lubrication of the moving parts. Uh, number two, uh, it'd be helpful because the, uh, the contacts do not simply close against each other, they actually rub against each other and so the contact resistance uh, that exists is, is pretty frequently reduced. And then number three, by doing this, it ensures that the breaker can be manually reset in case of a in case of a fault. So if you're going to think about doing this and uh, consider, you know, recommending this to your uh, clients, then uh, make sure that uh, when you do this, the proper maintenance and testing is done according to the recommendations of the manufacturer. Um, they're the ones that engineer engineered it, they're the ones that built it, they surely can uh, give you recommendations as to what should be done if you're going to, uh, if you're going to go this route and make sure that uh, the breakers are functioning properly. So if you ever have any question, just make sure and call the manufacturer because they're the ones that can help you out. So thanks for watching, I appreciate it. Head over to electricianslibrary.com and you can check out all of our social media, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram, all those uh, all those wonderful things and uh, you know make sure if you like this make sure and tell a friend um, one of the guys that you're working with co-worker tell them what we've got going on here that we're trying to build this uh, <clears throat> this great uh, library and wealth of information for all of you guys out there to access whenever you want for free uh, make sure you sign up for the newsletter electricianslibrary.com and uh, you can be kept up on the happenings of the week we just send it out once a week to let you know what's new and uh, also check out the Weekly Buzz. It's our uh, weekly podcast uh, just for you, the electrician, trying to give you some fun stories, some good information, maybe some code tips, anything that, uh, that uh, might, uh, might help you out. And if you've got any suggestions or requests for uh, the Weekly Buzz, let me know. Uh, send me an email. Uh, hit me up on Facebook, any of those uh, social media, and we'll get, uh, we'll get that subject on there for you. So until next time, I appreciate you watching and uh, stay grounded.